Have you ever taken the time to truly reflect on who you are and where you want to go in life? This question may seem a tad heavy, but it's an essential one, and we're here to explore it together. Reflection is more than just a passive pastime. It's a powerful tool that enables us to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. It's like holding up a mirror to our mind and soul, revealing our strengths, weaknesses, dreams, and fears. It's a journey of self-discovery that can lead to significant personal growth. But why is reflection so important? Well, it's simple. We can't chart a course for our future without first understanding our present. Think of it this way. You wouldn't set out on a road trip without first checking your current location, would you? The same principle applies to personal development. Knowing where you stand today is the first step towards planning where you want to be tomorrow. Moreover, reflection helps us identify our values, passions, and purpose. It allows us to scrutinize our beliefs and challenge our assumptions. It encourages us to question the status quo and imagine new possibilities. It's the key to unlocking our potential and realizing our aspirations. But reflection isn't just about introspection. It's also about setting goals. Goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Goals that stretch us, yet remain within our reach. Goals that align with our values and contribute to our sense of fulfillment. Goals that guide us on our journey to becoming a high-value woman. Now, we understand that reflection can sometimes feel uncomfortable. It can bring up feelings of vulnerability and uncertainty. But remember, it's in these moments of discomfort that we often find our greatest opportunities for growth. It's through challenging our limitations and confronting our fears that we become stronger, wiser, and more resilient. So, we invite you to embark on this journey of self-reflection. It's a journey that demands courage, honesty, and patience. But it's also a journey that promises rewards beyond measure. Remember, understanding oneself is the first step in becoming a high-value woman. And we're here to support you every step of the way. Let's take this journey together, shall we? Scene script. Identifying your strengths is the key to unlocking your potential. Now let's transition into an exercise that will help you identify your strengths. You might be surprised at what you discover about yourself in this process. It's not about boasting or inflating your ego, but about recognizing your inherent value and the unique skills you bring to the table. Picture a blank canvas. This canvas represents you and all the wonderful qualities you possess. Now imagine you have a palette of paints, each color representing a different strength. What colors do you see? What strengths do they represent? Maybe you're a fantastic listener, or perhaps you're a creative thinker who thrives on problem solving. Whatever they might be, these are the colors that make up the masterpiece that is you. Now let's take a step further. I want you to think about how you've used these strengths in the past. Remember a time when you successfully solved a problem or overcame a challenge by leveraging one of your strengths. Take a moment to write it down. This exercise will not only help you identify your strengths, but also understand how they can be applied in real life situations. Remember, there's no one size fits all when it comes to strengths. They are as diverse as the individuals who possess them. So don't be discouraged if your strengths don't fit into the traditional mold. You might not be a star athlete or a mathematical genius, but you might have the ability to empathize with others or the resilience to bounce back from adversity. These are just as valuable, if not more so, in the grand scheme of life. Identifying your strengths is a journey of self-discovery. It's about acknowledging and celebrating the unique abilities that make you who you are. It's about understanding how you can use these strengths to better yourself and the world around you. So take a moment to reflect on your strengths, write them down, acknowledge them, and most importantly, be proud of them. After all, these are the qualities that make you unique, that make you a high value woman. Your strengths are your superpowers, embrace them. Acknowledging our areas for growth doesn't make us weak, it makes us strong. That's the essence of self-improvement and becoming a high value woman. We're here to guide you through an enlightening exercise that will help you identify your areas for growth. Let's start by asking ourselves, what are the things that you think you could improve or change about yourself? These could be habits, emotional responses, or specific skills. It's not about criticizing or being hard on yourself, but about being honest and open to growth. Now picture yourself in a calm and quiet place, free from distractions. Close your eyes if you need to. Take a deep breath and think about one thing that you want to improve. It could be anything, like your ability to communicate effectively, managing stress, or being more organized. Once you've identified it, write it down. There's something powerful about putting pen to paper. It makes your intentions tangible and real. Now think about why you want to improve in this area. 
Is it because it's holding you back in some way? Is it causing you stress or discomfort? Understanding the why behind your desire for growth can be a powerful motivator. Write down your reasons. Next, consider how you can improve in this area. What steps can you take? How can you measure progress? For instance, if you wish to improve your communication skills, you might decide to read a book on effective communication or take a class. If you're trying to manage stress better, you might consider mindfulness exercises or yoga. Write down your plan. Finally, set a timeline for yourself. When do you want to see improvement? Setting a deadline makes your goal more concrete and gives you a clear path to follow. Remember, this exercise isn't about perfection. It's about progress and growth. It's about becoming a better version of yourself one step at a time. So embrace this journey of self-improvement. Don't shy away from acknowledging your areas for growth because it's in these spaces that we have the potential for the most profound transformation. Embracing your areas for growth is a sign of strength and adaptability. And that, dear friends, is the mark of a high-value woman. Scene script. Goals give us direction, but smart goals give us a clear path. Welcome to the heart of the matter, setting SMART goals. We've all heard of goals, but how many of us have heard of SMART goals? The concept of SMART goals is a powerful tool for personal development. SMART is an acronym standing for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Let's break down these elements one by one. First, specific. A specific goal is clear and well-defined, leaving no room for misinterpretation. Instead of saying, I want to read more, Make it specific by saying, I want to read one self-development book every month. See the difference? Second, measurable. A goal without a measure is just a wish. You need to be able to track your progress and see how close you are to achieving your goal. So, I want to read one self-development book every month becomes, I will read 25 pages of a self-development book every day. This way, you can measure your daily progress. Third, achievable. Your goal should stretch you but it should also be possible to achieve. If you've never read a book before, reading 25 pages a day might be too much at first. You could adjust your goal to, I will read 10 pages of a self-development book every day. This makes your goal challenging yet achievable. Fourth, relevant. Your goal should be relevant to your personal development journey. If you're trying to become a better public speaker, reading a book on gardening might not be the most relevant goal. Choose goals that align with your aspirations. Finally, time-bound. Every goal needs a timeline. When will you achieve this goal? I will read 10 pages of a self-development book every day for the next month. Now, your goal has a specific time frame. Now that we understand the SMART framework, let's put it into practice. Grab a piece of paper and write down one personal development goal you have. Now make it SMART. Ensure it's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Remember, this is your journey. These goals are for you, not for anyone else. Imagine the sense of accomplishment you'll feel when you reach your SMART goals. Every small victory brings you one step closer to becoming the woman you aspire to be. It's not about perfection, but about progress. And with SMART goals, progress is made measurable, manageable, and most importantly, achievable. Remember, the journey of personal development is a marathon, not a sprint. So take your time, set your pace, and keep moving forward. SMART goals are not just about reaching an endpoint. They're about the journey, the learning, and the growth that happens along the way. Remember, you have the power to shape your life. You have the ability to set goals that challenge you, inspire you, and push you to become the best version of yourself. So set your SMART goals, embark on your journey, and watch as you transform into the woman you've always wanted to be. SMART goals are your roadmap to success. In the journey to becoming a high-value woman, authenticity is our compass. This statement carries profound truth, and we're here to explore exactly why. Authenticity is about being genuine, being true to who you are at your core. It's about embracing your uniqueness, your strengths, your vulnerabilities, and your passions. It's about expressing your true self, not a version of yourself that you think society expects. Imagine a compass. No matter where you place it on the earth, it always points north. It's consistent, it's reliable, and it's true to its nature. That's authenticity. It's about remaining true to who you are, regardless of the circumstances or the environment. In your journey of personal development, authenticity is crucial. It's easy to get swayed by societal expectations or pressures. It's easy to lose sight of who you are and what you want in the pursuit of what you think you should want. Authenticity is your safeguard against this. 
It ensures that the path you're walking is truly your own, not someone else's. Embracing your authentic self is empowering. It gives you the confidence to set your own standards, to make decisions that align with your values and aspirations. It allows you to be proud of who you are and to celebrate your unique journey. But how do we achieve authenticity? It starts with self-awareness, by understanding our values, our passions, our strengths and our areas for growth, we can make decisions that align with our true selves. It requires courage to stand firm in our convictions, even when they go against societal norms. It requires openness to continually learn and grow, to evolve as individuals while staying true to who we are. In the journey to becoming a high-value woman, remember that authenticity is your compass. It will guide you, keep you grounded, and ensure that you're on a path that is uniquely yours. So embrace your authentic self, celebrate your uniqueness, stand tall in your truth. Remember, authenticity is the essence of a high-value woman. Your journey to becoming a high-value woman is not about becoming someone else, but about becoming the best version of you. And that's something truly worth celebrating. In our journey to become a high-value woman, we've learned some crucial steps. First, we've discovered the power of self-reflection. Looking inward, we've realized how our self-image shapes our actions and decisions. We've learned that understanding our current self-image is key to growth and transformation. By reflecting on our strengths and areas for improvement, we open the door to becoming the best version of ourselves. Second, we've understood the importance of identifying our strengths. Recognizing our unique abilities and talents helps us to build confidence and self-worth. It's not about being perfect, but about embracing what we are naturally good at and using those strengths to our advantage. Third, we've acknowledged that identifying areas for growth isn't a sign of weakness. Instead, it's a brave step towards self-improvement. We've learned to view these areas not as flaws, but as opportunities for growth and development. Fourth, we've explored the concept of SMART goals. We've learned that setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals is a game changer in personal development. These goals guide us, providing a clear path towards our desired outcomes. And remember, each small step forward is a victory in itself. Finally, we've emphasized the importance of authenticity. We've learned that in our journey to become a high-value woman, being true to ourselves is paramount. Authenticity is about aligning our actions with our beliefs and values. It's about being real, being ourselves, and not being afraid to show the world who we really are. These are the key steps we've discussed in our journey to becoming a high-value woman. But remember, this journey is unique for everyone. There is no one-size-fits-all approach. What matters most is that we remain true to ourselves and strive for continual growth and improvement. Take these lessons to heart and remember, becoming a high-value woman is a journey, not a destination. We've shared some powerful insights today Insights meant to encourage you on this exciting journey of self-discovery and personal growth. There's no doubt that this journey can seem daunting at times, but remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. It's about taking those small, consistent steps towards becoming a high-value woman. So let's get started. Let's begin to implement these practices in our daily lives. Start with reflection. Take a moment each day to check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What are you proud of? What could you improve? Remember, it's not about being overly critical, but about understanding yourself better, acknowledging your strengths, and identifying areas for growth. Next, set your SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. These are not just buzzwords, they're a roadmap to your success. A high-value woman knows what she wants and sets clear, achievable targets to get there. But remember, it's okay to adjust these goals as you grow and evolve. Life is not static and neither are you. And authenticity, let's not forget that. Be true to yourself. Embrace your individuality. Understand that your journey is unique and that's what makes it beautiful. Authenticity is not about fitting into a mold. It's about breaking the mold and being unapologetically you. Finally, be patient with yourself. Growth takes time. It's a journey, not a destination. Small steps can lead to big changes. So don't rush the process. Be kind to yourself, celebrate your victories no matter how small, and keep pushing forward. Remember, every step you take brings you closer to becoming the high-value woman you aspire to be. But remember, this journey is yours, and yours alone. So take it at your own pace, in your own time. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll dive deeper into this journey. We're excited to continue this journey with you. 
Until then, keep striving, keep growing, and keep shining.